All right, so today's the evening of day 43 with these two little red tail catfish. I bought them 43 days ago, and when I bought them, they were about two weeks old, so 43 days plus two weeks. And it's kind of interesting because one of them is a lot paler than the other one. So this one is really pale compared to the other one. And uh, it seems like maybe there's some dominance going on. The one that's darker seems to be a lot more aggressive towards the other one. That one, the pale one, seems to be a lot more submissive, which is pretty interesting. Look at the difference between, I don't know if you can see it from this high. Once I get the some underwater video, you'll be able to see a big difference between the two. One's really pale and one's really dark. And I'm convinced it's a dominant thing. Uh, I actually see that with some of my African cichlids. The dominant ones seem to be really bright. And then the more submissive ones tend to have darker colors, which I'm thinking that's what it is. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up a little so I don't get wet, lean it against the Catfish hot tub. <laughs> hot tub catfish pond. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. So, yeah, someone was actually mentioning, hey, why don't you give them names? Because one's lighter and the other one's darker. But I'm convinced if, uh, if, I, took the, if I took the dark one out, I think the light one would actually turn dark. And I don't know if they can actually switch in dominance for from one to the other. Say, for example, the lighter one starts gaining in size and switches. I don't know if it's possible. But it's... I don't know if I could name them based on the difference in colors. They look almost exactly the same, other than the colors, though. And I've just been calling them the Orca Twins, so they really don't have a, an individual name. Looks like I missed a couple of pieces. Floating around right in the middle. That's weird. The old food is still in there, but they don't eat the old food. They don't, it seems like they only eat it right when I feed them, and then uh, they just don't eat it at all after that, which is weird. All right, so today I'm going to feed some beef liver. Their favorite, hands down, their favorite. And I just buy this at the grocery store in the frozen food section. And just chop it up with my knife. It actually comes in big slabs that are vacuum sealed in plastic. I'm not even, I'm about halfway through the first little slab. <laughs> Got a lot more beef liver to go. All right, so I'm going to take this camera, put it in an underwater housing, and give you some underwater video.
All right, so today is the morning of day 44 with these two little red tail catfish. And I'm gonna try to measure them every single time. Uh, oh, I definitely need some kind of a power strip or something here. <laughs> so I don't have to struggle with unplugging that crazy cord. Oh. Another thing that was interesting too is the last time I fed them, they ate all the food. They didn't have any extra and they were looking for more, <laughs> which is the first time. Usually I feed them too much food and then I have to go in and fish some out. Wow, <laughs> look at how big they're getting. That's pretty crazy. Eh? Every time I look at them, I can definitely tell there's a pretty big difference from the last time. If you look back at some of my earlier videos, it's even more significant as far as the difference in the growth. You kind of you kind of lose the perspective watching them every single day and it does look like i do have a little bit of uneaten food which i thought they ate all of it but maybe not but when they were eating it looked like they were still looking for more and they couldn't find any you know maybe it was old food up on this little bench here I bet that's what it was. But I'll clean up at the end again. I can see some stuff floating around here a little bit. All right, so today we're going to feed tilapia. Tilapia from the grocery store. Make sure it's thawed out here. Looks like it is. And chopped it up with my knife. <laughs> oh, if we can keep it over. I created a swirl. The problem is <laughs> I actually use that net and sometimes it goes all the way around and ends up on the on the bench instead of down on the bottom. Need like a like a different flow around the side. <laughs> we got a swirl in here. All right, so I'm gonna take this camera, put it in an underwater housing, and give you some underwater video.